Have you ever wondered how to run your trading bots automatically and for free on a server? Well, you're in luck. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Hey there, hope you're doing well. So I'm going to use this Python trading bot code and strategies that I share for free and develop on this channel. But don't worry, you can use this tutorial to adapt things to your own code. And also, the point is indeed to show you how to install this and set everything up on a AWS server. And you might be asking, why am I going for an AWS server? Well, it's simple. It's because they offer a free server instance for a whole year. So I thought it was a good example. But again, you can use all the steps, the knowledge I'm sharing, I'm showing today in this tutorial to adapt to any servers, really. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so here I am. I have connected to my, my AWS account. I'm not going to show you the steps to do that. It's pretty st straightforward. If you, to find it, I mean, to find AWS, you just search AWS and you'll end up with Amazon servers as the first or second entry in, in your search. But anyways, it's very straightforward. I do remember though that there is a $1 one-time free that fee, beg your pardon, that you have to pay when you create an account on AWS. And after that, as I said, the server instance we'll use as an example today is going to be free for a whole year. Okay, so since I don't exactly remember what landing page you'll get to once you've created the account, we'll just say that what we're doing, what you'll do is go in the search bar and type EC2. And I've just pressed enter, or you could click on this EC2 thingy, and it gets you to your EC2 dashboard. And that's where you have all the server instances. So we want to create a new one. So we'll click on launch instance. Great. I have to give it a name. Let's do tutorial. Very good. Now we have to select the type of server we want, and we're going to, do, to go for Ubuntu. Great. We don't need to change anything. And actually, now here we get to the instance type. So we actually don't have to change anything because at the moment, at least, the default that is given to you is T2 Micro, which is the one that is free for a whole year. So it's free for a whole year and then it, it becomes, you pay about 10 to $15 per month. So these instances type are indeed a question of power. So the more powerful, the more resources it gives, the, the more expensive it will be. T2 Micro, um, for what we are doing on this channel, generally, if you have a few bots running on a f on several coins, etc., a few strategies, several coins, it, it'll be more than enough. Of course, so you can always try that, see how it goes. And if you see in your stats on your dashboard that it really is asking for more and it's not working properly, you can always upgrade afterwards. But I think for beginning or to try things out, etc., this is more than enough for, for what we're doing today anyways and what you'll be watching this video for i believe but anyways so we'll just stick to t2 micro anyways and yeah of course i mean if you're a bit worried about these things or whatever you can always let me know write a comment down below or even better actually on my on the community discord because sometimes you miss the new comments whatever okay so we've selected t2 micro we're very happy great now this is quite this is a bit technical, but not too much. It's just a question of, we need to create what we call SSH keys, because once we have started this server instance, set it up on AWS, we need to connect to it remotely. So from there, we'll be able to install whatever codes we want to install and run on that server instance. So for this, for security and everything, we need authentication. And to do that, we do that via SSH keys. So here in key pair, I'm just going to do create new key pair. So I'm just going to give it a name, tuto. Okay, very good. We stick to RSA type and dot pem at the, the, as the format. So I'll just do create key pair. Great. So this is done. You see, I created one before because I babbled too much in my first shoot of that video, of this video. So now I've got my tuto.pem in my downloads. So it is customary to put those, dot, those SSH keys in the dot SSH folder on your machine. I'm giving you the example today using Windows, but you can find, you can, for Mac or Linux or whatever, you can just search and where this in on the web to know where the .ssh is or what to do with it. It'll be pretty easy. So I'm just going to do a little cut and then 
how can I find this on SSH on Windows? You'll see it's just in C users Louis, and here's my .SSH. If by any chance it doesn't exist yet or whatever, you can just create it. Anyways, I'm coming here and I'm pasting it. So this will be important to connect later to the server instance. But now we should go back to actual to actually to AWS because we just created and dealt with the key pair, but we haven't launch the instance yet and actually there's nothing else we really need to do here so all we do is come here on and click on launch instance and this takes a couple of seconds no more and basically there we go it has launched successfully we are very happy i can come here and click and this will open this new window where we should get automatically and see that indeed uh, my, the server instance is running here. So you see instance state pending, so it's maybe not exactly finished to, to set up properly, but we're all good. While it's finishing, good idea for me to tell you, don't hesitate to give me a little like and a subscription to the channel if you're enjoying this content and it's valuable to you because it really also helps me. And also really don't be shy if you have any questions regarding this. There are no silly questions. The only silly questions are the ones not asked. So really let me know, community discord, let let's us know, and we'll give you some more insights there. All comments down there, but sometimes I miss them. Anyways, actually what I just did was to refresh here and it switched from bending to running. So maybe it was already ready before. Anyways, now we want to connect to this instance. So what I'm doing is that I'm coming on here and just right clicking and then I'll normal click to connect. Then here, what we want to do is come to SSH client here. And basically this, we're coming here because it gives you the command that we have to write. So we can just like copy, copy it. And then what we need to do with that is to come and put it in our terminal or our command center, whatever you call it. So here are two ways. One way to open this terminal is to come here and type CND and the CMD and then press enter, or you can simply right click here and do open in terminal. So the point, why am I doing this? Because I want to indeed open the terminal from within this folder. And as you can see, we are, we are indeed within this folder. And here I, I can just simply paste the command that I got, that I got from AWS. Great. So blah, blah, blah. Do I want to connect? Yes, I do want to com connect. Great. So now you can, let's put that on the side here. And what we have here, what you see, you see that we are no longer on our machine. We are now indeed on our server instance. We are connected remotely to that server instance. And you can see we have the IP address here. Great. So now basically on here, we want to install the trading bot code. Just a few things I want to show you. If you want to see what's within a folder, you do LS. And LS not returning anything here. That means we haven't installed anything yet. But so I would say we should start installing things. So here on this live trading bots code, what I've done is that in the readme, I show all the steps so you don't have to type much. You can just come here, for example, and just copy this line. So we're going to basically download this GitHub repository on our server instance. So let's do that. We're coming back to our terminal. And now this is a Ubuntu instance we're connected to. So the commands change a bit. So to paste, we do, we do control shift V instead of control V. Okay. So now I just press enter. And as you can see, it downloaded in just a few seconds. Great. Actually, let me just put that like this. So it will be simpler. Now, basically what we need to do is install the code. So what I've done for, to make things easier, let me show you here. I'm we're, Actually, I'm just going to paste it and run it. And then I'm going to explain what's going to happen. We're using Bash. This is the, the, term, the programming language of Linux terminals, if you want, said quickly. And I'm, I've created this install.sh. So in live trading bots code. So you can see here, robot traders. In there, we have a install.sh. So this is... What I'm showing you here is exactly what we've just cloned or downloaded. Okay. So what I want to just show you what's in this file, you can see that the first command that is run is to just update the server. Then we're installing Python and installing Python pip. So that's the package handler for Python, which allows us to install all the packages that the code requires. 
Okay, once this is done, we go into live trading bot slash code. And in there, what we're doing is that we're installing a Python virtual environment. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to keep the packages, the versions, whatever of that project to be sure that it's using what in the virtual environment. Rather than starting having conflicts, if you have other projects running on the server with different versions, etc. here we're sure we're not messing up with the general Python and packages installation. We're installing, if you want, everything that the code needs within that virtual environment. Okay, so once this is done, what you basically see, okay, we are entering the Python environment, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But what's important is that we're installing within that virtual environment what is in requirements.txt. So what is that? These are the packages, the specific packages the code requires. So for my code here, it's just a few, and I'm going to show you so you know exactly what's being installed. In here, three libraries, pandas, so, you know, like the super, the data, the, the famous um, data managing um, Python library. By the way, if you need refreshing or, or learning about Python and all these things, we have a free comprehensive course on the, on the channel. There'll be a link down below. Anyways, CCXD in this code, this is, a, a, this is the li library that deals with ex crypto exchanges, APIs. So that's how you, what it, this code uses to place orders, et cetera place orders, get info back from the crypto exchange, etc. And TA is technical analysis, is generally in strategies when you're computing indicators, you want to compute Bollinger Bands or averages or whatever. This TA library is a very nice Python library to compute all these technical analysis indicators. Great. So that's so you know what is being installed, etc. So on the sign here, I see that we have basically I think Python, everything has been updated nicely. Okay, what is important is now that we are indeed installing the packages. So it's asking us, are we okay with everything being installed? And the answer is yes. So I'm just going to type yes here and it's going to carry on. It might take a few minutes. I mean, that's generally how much, yeah, it'll, not a few minutes, but a few seconds. So I'll get back to you once this is done. Okay, perfect. We see that everything has been installed nicely and it has finished. And actually now let me show you if we do LS, what do you see? We do see that we have live trading bots here. By the way, blue means a directory a folder, but if it's in white or something else, that means it's generally a, fi a file. Okay, so now a few Linux um, quickly crash course on commands if you want. CD is to go into. So as I, if I do CDL and then I press tab, it will auto-complete. So I'm just doing CD um, that and then enter and I'm, you can see I'm within there. Within there, I could see that I have all the things that we indeed ha we have here on the GitHub repository. Great. But let me just show you if you want to go back back in the path is cd dot dot and then you can really scroll in between has what all the commands that has been done with your with your arrows here on your keyboard so let me go back to cd live trading bot great so in here what do i have let's go to code cd code okay great what do i have in here i have a folder strategies so cd strategies just to show you ls and then we have envelope so this is because this is one one strategy that I love a lot that I shared on this channel, but obviously at the moment when I'm doing this video, there's only that, but in the future, I do plan on releasing more. So at some point there will be more strategies in there. Anyways, let me go in CD. So in envelope, CD envelope, and what do you see? I have the run.py. So typically this, for example, would be, this is the script of the training bot, but um, depending on the strategy, sometimes it's nice to, rather than, have the run the run.py because that would, for example, run just one coin. That could be the case depending on the strategy or whatever. Let me do cd dot dot again to show you that here there is a run envelope.sh. So here we are actually going to show on the terminal and what is in the, the, the file. So if I do nano, nano is just a sort of text editor within the terminal. So if I do nano run envelope.sh and I open that, you can see that what happens in here is basically to run the run.py. But nicely what I've done is to make sure here with source that the running is using not the native Python on 
the server, but indeed the Python and the packages that we've installed in the server, the virtual environment. You can see here .vm. And so that first line means pick the virtual environment and with that run Python 3, so the version of Python, and run what script this blah, 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 this part, run.py. And the cool thing here, so I can, let me do control C and let's, let me see now the commands are quite different on this. Okay, I'll do a control K, there will be a cut, but I'll just do a, a control U and U and U. And for example, let's say you had different coins running, that indeed depends on the strategy, but we could have a BTC here, we could have a ETH here, whatever, depending on what you've configured in, of course, in those run.pies, you need to configure them. But this is just now the file that you can run automatically, this run SH automatically, given your 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 server, the strategies, time frame, etc. But this, the automation, how to run this, etc. What generally what I do on this channel is that I use a cron tab, which is a little program that just executes commands at frequencies that you configure. So this, if you want to know more about this, I'll put a video in here. And if you want to know more about some strategies, some full trading bots, whatever videos that I've done, I'll put one here for you as well. Okay, great. Hope to see you soon. Happy trading and take care.